club that away short. The track will still be on the slow side, so plenty of time there for Imam Haq to put that away for a boundary. That's another top edge, and that's gone for a boundary. That'll reach the fence in no time. Healthy edge. Wow. <laughs> He's deciding to cut loose. More variation, maybe more success. But there's oh, no... Wow! Now that is some hit! Hammered away, that's beautifully played in front of square in full control. Length now. Short and fine legs up in the circle, that'll go for four. That's nicely played, that's a really good shot. Beautifully done. Just a nudge down the ground, continuing with his work, Imamul Haq. 50 from 60 balls. Pakistan have taken it here. 100 is up. She had to catch it. It will be taken. Oh, dear. There we go. Good job. He's in a bit of a roll. Nice fielded. When Malan quickly onto it. Brings up a 50 for Fakir Zaman. And on the back of 190 odd at the Wanderers, really has been in good touch. Pakistan will hope that he's not finished, but uh, it's been a decent contribution. Not as quick as the fireworks we saw at the Wanderers. Log sweep, and as we've seen throughout the series, he doesn't often get it wrong. Oh. Brilliantly played. He's so aware of where the gap is, and he's just looking for that little bit of width from Markram. Brilliantly played. And you won't be impressed with that start. It brought the man up. Certainly looking to uh, free those arms, and he's got his away for four. to be done that might win it will win oh that's clever very clever indeed in position before the ball's released pretty much and just helped it on its way fine for four it's a bit of a long hop and that's been smashed for four one bounce just inside the rope squeezed away fine and that's going to be four more that takes him to 96 now. Ball a hard done by because it wasn't a four ball. It was Yorker just a little bit wider of the uh, stumps. And that could have been intentional, but Fakhar, all it needed was an outside edge. Here he is on 99. Plays it away for a run. That's his 100. Back to back 100s. That's a magnificent feat achieved by Fakhar Zaman. He should be mighty pleased and proud of what he has achieved on this tour. Good on him. Really well done. So often it happens that someone gets a big score and they don't double up and they don't get big runs the next game, but he was so determined clearly today. This has been another spectacular 100. It really has. A different 100. Up and out. Out this time. No going upstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not happy with himself. It's a shot. Enough. Hey! Yeah! Oh, we're going upstairs, are we? We are. But they're confident, South Africa. Klaassen straight away cheering and running towards Maharaj, who's having a super day. Oh, yes. You think that things can be tanning around here? South Africa claiming. Oh, oh dear. Oh, yes, he's gone. Larson getting stumped. Nobody there. Nobody there, Baba picking his gap, and away it goes for four. Build that platform. 
from which they'll launch again. That's a top shot. So we'll be well aware of, of what ought to happen and just how to do it. Notches up another milestone, Babar Azam. Shot. Beautifully done. That's a great shot. And he's got out. Can you believe it? He's opening up the offside to try and whack it over extra cover, and he's dragged it, but he's dragged it straight back. Yeah, he's hit the six boundary so far. I think this is the key. If they can get a few dot deliveries to Fahim, it's a, it's a worth the gamble. In fact, not only dot balls, you got yourself a wicket. Brilliant. What a catch that is. My goodness, that is a blinder from the skipper. Nicely played. There's a big change of the field. They took short 45 from the leg side across the offside and strengthened it with four men up in the inner ring, square on the offside. And eventually he comes too straight and a bit of an expletive that comes out because he knows that was not what he wanted to do. That's nasty struck. Those are some of the shots that... Uh, as soon as he goes fast, though, he's getting picked off, and that's another wonderful strike. The slot, out she goes. He's milled it again, I think, wow. yes. The two men on the boundary really turned around onto the bank. This is a fantastic over for Pakistan, in many ways rectifying the efforts of what South Africa had done to pull things back. Same delivery, same result. Absolutely brilliant. 25 from that over, and that is fantastic from Pakistan. Brings up the 300. You can see Barbara Zom's gone on to outside off stump and middled it. As I said, it was going to be difficult. It's the slower delivery, but it's a drag down. Oh, the slower delivery drag down again, and that's way back. Gets the thick edge, and there's four of them. So it's still on the cards. The last delivery needs to be a maximum. Up, and is it enough? No, it's not going to be, and it's taken in the outfield. So probably three or four meters short, but thoroughly deserving of the applause he will get as he makes his way off the ground. It's not the century he would have been after, but 94 of 82 deliveries, and coupled with the performance of 32 of 11 from Hassan Ali, this has been spectacular from Pakistan. Leg side, away, nicely played. That's the first boundary. That's a very good shot from Markram. Oh, he's picked that up as well. That's a pickup shot for six. Oh, that's nicely played. That's back with a square on the offside for four. That's gone extremely quickly. Over the top. Fine stroke, couple of bounces, and that's four runs. Shot. Oh, yes. That is a beautiful shot. Shot. Picked it up so early. It's a big appeal. It's a big appeal. And really what we're looking for is if there's a, a scratch on it as it goes past from bat onto pad. It looks like it's just pad from that picture. I'll check the LBW too, it's missing off. By some distance. I mean, keeper didn't look that exuberant. Right, Ultra Edge, what is happening here? Oh, there you go. There's the edge. It's an edge onto the pad. Yeah, and then onto the pad as well. Uh, I think this is a massive breakthrough if they get this as out. Ultra Edge, they're showing a little bit of wood. A little bit of inside edge. I think the impact was was probably pad and then bat. 
or maybe bat and then pad. <laughs> there you go. There's confirmation. It's a breakthrough that Pakistan needed. Only one. Shot. Shot. Boundary for him. <laughs> Through him. That's the delivery you've got to watch out for. We've seen it a couple of times in the T20s in Pakistan. It's that ability to come out of the front of the hand and skid on quicker than you think. Too many of those, and it's a really easy picking. Something for Temba Bavuma. That's nasty play. Very nasty play by Temba Bavuma. He's very good at manipulating the ball far of the wicket on the offside and the leg side. That's beautifully played. Over pitched again. There it is again. Has he got the edge? No, just sliding down the leg side, I feel. Bavuma had given himself some room in order to open up the offside, thinking he was dragged down. He might be able to punch it away. They aren't going to go upstairs. Oh. Bold. Got him. Got him. Looking to use his feet and access the leg side. Mohammed Nawaz gets his second scalp. I just feel that the situation might have got the two wickets. Yes, the bowler's got the to get the ball in the right area. He's got it in the right area for Milan and got him. But Vuma the ball before, throws his head back after thinking single and then going, oh, can't run. And then decides I'll get down to him and try and work it onside. Oh my God! Shout, big shout, big shout. And the finger goes up. If not crashing into it. Yeah, no bat at all. Now we wait for the evidence. He always felt that something was going to give to try and access a few boundaries, so definitely pitching in line. And umpire's call. So the partnership is broken. And it's that man again, Mohammed Nawaz, picking up his third scalp, and there's confirmation. So elation for Pakistan. That's top edge. Safely done. That's big shot. What a shot that is. Oh, another stylishly played shot. This time through point. Fahim Shuf at sixes and sevens. Yeah, Fahim's pace of, of just over 130. You need to be a little bit more accurate than he's been his last two. Oh, that is gone. Huge, humongous six. Need a couple of boundaries early in the over. Now there's one. That'll help their cause. That's a free hit, and that's gone for six. So that's a lovely way for Verena to finish the over. Four runs. Stay as is. What a shot that is. That's a magnificent stroke. Shot. Oh, wow, he plays him. Boy, he does. Oh, I don't know if he's got that. I don't know if he's got that. He hasn't. Slower ball again. Oh, that's gone straight up in the air. Aris Raf. Oh, and the keeper's going as well. He owned it. He owned it, Safras. It was going to bounce on Harris Rao's head, I reckon. He had to get out the way because Zafra said it was his. Left it for the man with the gloves and he's made no mistake. Another big blow. Oh, a massive blow and well caught by Safras. He was ready for the Skyer and, well, you've got a feel for Bethlehem because he batted brilliantly. He had no choice, really, but to go hard, covered the stumps so that he could hit that six over mid-wicket, skied it up in the air, probably a top edge, hoping against hope that that'll be grassed or confusion between the two fielders. Afraz circling under it and catching it.
valuable take, valuable catch. And with that catch, probably gives Pakistan the advantage as well. Massive advantage. Probably a win. Beautiful. That's a top hit by Maharaj. There's a shout. There's a shout. There's something on that. Yes, the finger's gone up. Buren Hendricks is gone. That's gone almost. Pulled him. Shock it again. This time it's gone all the way. Sixer. Full toss. A slower ball. And it's been swatted away. Pulled him. And that is that. South Africa all out 292. It's Pakistan who win by 28 runs. They also clinch the series here in South Africa.